Minecraft's world of knockoff games is hugely vast. Today, we're going to be diving in a couple of them and ranking them in a tier list fashion. That's all I got to say. Let's just get straight into it. All right, we're going to start off with Worldcraft 2. Um, this is the title screen. Uh, you can't even see anything, so I don't know why they made it like this. Oh, there we go. Uh, we're inside right now. They've already got ads here. More games. This is a super blocky design. Oh, uh, that house yeah. right there. That That's... I don't know about that house, man. That's a tiny house. Who's living in that? Okay, let's just get started, though. We got World 1, World 2, World 3, World 4. Let's just join this one, I guess. Um, oh, whoa. This sensitivity is really high. What, what is that music in the background? Like... Okay, this, this is just getting too loud. I'm gonna have to turn it down for you guys. This is like some really crazy random, hopefully it's no copyright EDM music. Okay, well anyway, getting back into the actual game itself, the moving is super janky. Like, I don't know how to explain it. I think there's like a little like drag or something when you look around. Like, it just doesn't feel the same as other first person games that I've played. It's just super weird. I don't know how to explain it. A few minutes later. Alright, well, there's not much to do in this game. I... Do not have a hotbar, I don't think, and I think this is creative because I'm just breaking stuff instantly. There's no animation whatsoever. This this game does not look like it's very well developed. Some dude probably made this in his basement in like, I don't know, five minutes or something. Also, it seems like I'm in low gravity. Oh, whoa. Get out of the way, tree. It seems like I'm in low gravity right now. Like, when you jump, it, it kind of lasts a while. It lasts a bit too long. It's like I'm floating in the air. Um, I cannot place any blocks, uh, that makes sense, because I don't think I have any blocks, am I being creative? And I cannot open my inventory of any sort, I'm pressing a lot of buttons, it's not doing anything. Uh, I guess let's just go mining, let's see what we can find here. Okay, I've been digging for a while now, and all that I've come across is just dirt, like, there's no stone, nothing, man. Okay, so far this game is pretty disappointing, there really isn't anything to do in here. Alright, on the tier list, I think I'm gonna have to give Worldcraft the F tier. Like, I really just don't think it can get any worse than that. You really can't do anything in that game. There is no hotbar, you have no hearts, it's just creative, no animations whatsoever. Terrible movement. I'm sorry, Worldcraft, but I'm gonna have to place you in F tier. Alright, next up on our list, we got Mind Blocks. It says that it's in beta currently and it updates every Friday. Okay, that's that's a good sign. They actually constantly update their game. And they've got a Discord and Twitter. Looking pretty promising so far. It seems like they might have a small fan base. That'd be pretty sick. So it says, welcome to the beta early access. This is a very early version. All right. Okay, let's create a new world. Whoa, some cool sound effects there. And we're straight in. This one does not have any music, but oh, it does have... Is that... Wait... Well, I was gonna say, is that the exact same walking sound they have in Minecraft? But it's not. It's very close, though. So, it looks like we got a hotbar with a lot of stuff in it. Um, I can't open my inventory once again. I don't know how. Um, there is no, like, how to play. Okay, whatever. We'll figure it out. So, we can move around. We can break stuff. Oh, there's actually an animation. Okay, that, that's at least a big step up from the other game. There's a downside, though. This is obviously 2D, as you guys can see. I think I might have to lose some points on that because it's not a correct Minecraft copy. But I, I see the effort. They, they were trying here. We've got some decent animations. And you can actually place blocks, unlike the other game. And we got a little house over here. This reminds me a lot of Terraria. That's kind of what Terraria is. Just a 2D version of Minecraft. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of walking around. I see some coal down there. Let's try to mine this. Does it actually work? Oh, and it gives you XP. It works and it gives you XP. That is crazy. Oh, is this... Oh, this is the inventory button. You don't actually have to press, like, a key. There's just a button on the screen. So we got coal, uh, cobblestone. I don't know if you guys can see this, but uh, the words look really low quality stone brick like it's just blurry for some reason they've got a crafting menu they've got armor can i actually craft with this let's see if we can make some oh whoa what's that hold on wooden planks backdrop dude this is terraria you can literally make like backgrounds bro that's a terraria thing and we can make a crafting table that that is crazy oh i just figured it out okay the button is working now if you press e it opens the menu so um can we place this thing okay that's not working i gotta get out of here first all right back up on the surface oh okay there we go now we can place it and it actually works. This is actually super impressive. Let's see what else we can do here. Can we find some caves, maybe? All right, now we have an iron pickaxe. I think right now I'm just going to try making a... Uh, oh, I can't get out. There we go. I'm going to make a stone... I do have cobblestone. Stone axe. Just so I can cut down these trees a bit easier. All right, I think I see some iron below me. Um, These trees are not, like, breaking when I break one piece. That's kind of a terraria thing, but I don't think that would actually be in here. Because Minecraft... The trees don't actually all break when you break one piece. What is that? What did I just pick up? What did I pick up? An orange? That's not in Minecraft. All right. Well, I guess I'll take that. 
Oh, there's lemons too. I think those are lemons up there. All right, well, you know what, guys? Um, Everyone tells you not to dig straight down in Minecraft, so we are in 2D right now, so we can kind of see what's below us. Let's go mining and just dig straight down. Yo, hold on. This is an iron pickaxe. We dig in fast, bro. Okay, looks like this actually goes down pretty deep, and I think those are some caves. Is that a zombie? Hello there. Dude, this is sick, bro. Okay, can I place this torch? Yes, I can. Yeah, um, oh, whoa, what just happened there? Oh, I took fall damage. Uh, is this gravel? It has to be. Yeah, I think that is. Well, anyway, um, this game is definitely way better than the last one. It's, it looks a lot more finished. Even though it's 2D, I think it's probably better. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, I'm losing hearts. I don't have a sword. I can't see. I can't see. Please, torches. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Stone axe. Ah, uh, get out of here. Get out of here, bro. Oh, I can just spam, dude. That's, that's sick, dude. Uh, that lava texture, I don't know about that one. If you were to fix one thing in this game, I think it would probably be the lava texture. Yeah, we killed that zombie. A little bit under half health remaining. Definitely pretty sick to see some cave generation in these games. I'm gonna dig down a bit more and see if I can find anything else. Okay, uh, long story short- Oh, lava! Oh, I'm dead! Nah, get out of here! Get out of here! Oh, I'm dead! Okay, well, I guess that's it. I guess this is for my own blocks. I was about to say that I haven't been finding anything. Now for the tier list of mine blocks. Um, this game has potential to be an A tier. The only problem I think with this is it's it's just 2D. Minecraft is a 3D game, and for that reason, I'm gonna be putting it at B tier. But everything is there, like all the mechanics work basically. It's not too buggy. I think B tier is a great spot for mine blocks. Next up, we got this game called Crazy Steve.io. It says the game Crazy Steve IO is created for fun and fast fighting. The main task in Crazy Steve is to score as many points as possible and and be the coolest. What? And be the cool- what, what do you mean be the coolest? How does that have anything to do with Minecraft? I don't know man, I guess whatever appeals to the 10 year olds that search up how to get free Minecraft on Google. To do this, you need to collect the diamonds and apples that appear on the map. For diamonds, you charge more experience than- what does that even mean? You charge more experience than apples, but thanks to apples you can recover- Okay, whoever wrote this was clearly not American, but thanks to apples, you can recover your health. A lot of diamonds fall out of the killed rival. Do you understand what we are inclined to do? Yes. Okay, right, let's just get straight into it. What is this game about? Uh, there's a leaderboard. Um, whoa, this looks like a gar, yo. Wait a minute, what? Um, okay, let's just press play, connecting, log in, and we are in. Okay, this this literally looks like a gar, yo. What? We got the ender dragon, the wither. Are these guys actual people? Because if they are, I'm surprised. Who is playing this game? Oh, that's TNT. Hey, ow, hey, what? What? I- this kid is huge. What am I supposed to do, man? This kid is absolutely huge. I just got ran over by some big dude. What? Can't do anything. Yeah, this definitely reminds me of Agario. I'm gonna respawn, see if we can do a bit better. So, collecting apples are good, and then I think diamonds are better or something? That, that's what kind of makes sense, I guess. Uh, I don't really see a difference. Can I- oh, oh, what are you doing, man? Hey, get some TNT. Oh, Bruh. shoot! What? Did I just blow myself up? Okay, this game is- that's enough for this game, man. I think we kind of understand what's going on here. Alright, and for Crazy Steve IO, I'm gonna have to put this thing in D tier because it's- it's not even like a Minecraft ripoff. It's literally just an Nagario ripoff. It doesn't really have anything to do with Minecraft. You can't even, like, break or place blocks. It's- it's just nothing to do with Minecraft, and for that reason, I'm giving it a D tier. The only thing that's holding it from an F tier is just the fact that it's actually playable, at least. Worldcraft just- you can't do anything. There's no point in playing that game. And for number four, we got Voxel Minecraft Clone from Protegy Game Studios. I know I said that wrong, but this one appealed to me because it says that Voxel Online is in development and quite possibly the closest you can get to playing Minecraft without actually having Minecraft. That is a pretty bold claim there. Let's see if they actually live up to that. And these are some screenshots. Yes, it actually does look a decent amount like Minecraft. Like the textures are a bit off, but I understand why, you know, for copyright reasons and such. All right, let's, let's just get it straight into this game. Alright, so we're in, and whoa, okay. Uh, no hotbar, no health, no UI, nothing nothing at all that we can look at, I guess. Uh, I can't open my inventory, it seems like. The jumping's a bit better than Worldcraft, I'll say that. But this, right now, this looks a lot like Worldcraft. This game is claiming that this is the closest you can get to Minecraft, man. Like, they can't even have actual, like, oak wood textures, man. This is planks, dude. These are planks. Bruh. Why are there planks as logs? Okay, I'll give them the sky. Actually looks a lot like a Minecraft sky. That that moon, or that, I think that's the sun, actually. That's sun setting, my bad. But yeah, that sun actually looks pretty similar to Minecraft. The terrain generation does not really look like Minecraft, though. It's a bit too flat. There's not really much going on and also there's a big wall of just leaves i don't think that's part of minecraft either but uh yeah you can break blocks it's this is the same thing as worldcraft no animation 
The jumping's a bit better. That's the only better thing. Um, can I place blocks though? Oh, I actually can. But I think the only block that I can actually place is that oak thing. And yeah, look at this, man. They have repeating textures. They don't even have actual dirt textures, dude. This game is pretty disappointing as well. At least I can actually build something like, you know, a little house or something. Just gonna finish up my little house here. Oh shoot, break that. We don't want that here. Got the walls down. Um, let's build this roof. Yeah, I was expecting this. I was gonna see if the lighting actually works, but apparently not. Um, I should be in a pitch black room right now, but somehow light is still getting in. I don't know how. Oh, okay. This wall is getting bigger. This leaf wall is just getting bigger as I get close to it. Can I go past it? Oh, no, nah, this is not a leaf wall. These are just grass. Can I? Oh, I can't actually break through it. Yo, what is- what is this? This is basically like the far lands of this voxel game. Interesting, interesting. I think we've seen everything that this game has to offer now. Well, they really claimed that that game was the best clone out there. I have to disagree with them, I'm sorry, but I'm sure there's something better than that. That was the same thing as Worldcraft, pretty much. I'm gonna give it an F tier as well, just because there really is no point in playing that. Like, the- I guess you can place blocks, but you can only place oak planks. Everything about that game just does not make sense to me. And that is why I'm giving it an F tier. It's just so similar to Worldcraft. Moving swiftly on right here, we got Block World. So this actually gives us uh, creative or survival, I'm guessing. We're gonna hit survival. And let's see how good this game is. Okay, not- not bad at all. Um... So right away, we can see that we got hearts. That's good. We got a UI. Uh, we have a body to look at as well. The jumping's the same thing as Worldcraft, I think it was called. It's kind of like zero gravity. Maybe tone it down that a bit. But I like that we got some instructions on the screen. Maybe it's a bit too much, but it's, it's definitely an upgrade from having absolutely nothing at all. What is- is that a cupcake? Press E to collect. Um, I think I just ate that, actually. What's going on here? Oh, it's a banana. Yo, what? So we can remove block by clicking. Um, no animation whatsoever. That's a bit disappointing. And also, why are there stone Crap. textures on a tree? We also got see-through leaves. I really like that, too. That, that's some nice quality, some nice graphics. This game is definitely better than that voxel game, I'm sure. And we got nine blocks to mess around with. And um, yeah, we can actually use them. That's, that's amazing. Does the door actually work? I'll be so surprised if it actually does. Let's see here. Um, it doesn't look like it is. Oh, it's turning nighttime already, man. Oh no, the door does work. You just have to click the bottom half. I'm gonna go build myself a house and see how it goes. Okay, what's going on? I'm trying to build my house right now and I'm just constantly walking backwards. And I'm at two hearts. I don't know how I've been losing hearts, but you can see I've, I can't really show you, but I've kind of got a house going on. But like, it's just, I don't know what's happening. The game kind of just bugged out and it, it won't stop walking backwards. That's a shame because I was kind of having fun, man. I was exploring a bit. Uh, the, the world generation is actually kind of amazing. This is definitely the most similar game to Minecraft that we've played so far. Yeah, like there's actually mountains. It's not just infinitely flat. There still are no like animations and stuff, but it's okay. This is still a really good clone. And for Block World on the tier list, I think I'm gonna have to put it at a B tier. It's just super close to the A tier. Like everything is there, except there is no inventory and there are no animations which is what Mind Block, I think is what it's called, actually had. So those two are very similar, but still there is nothing yet that could break the tier A spot. Can this next game called Mind Clicker do that? Let's see. Now for the final game of today's video, it's called Mind Clicker. So, um, right when I fired this up, I just realized this is not really a Minecraft game. It's more of a clicker game that steals Minecraft's, like, graphics, I guess. That chicken looks awfully similar to something I've already seen. So, I think we just gotta click them. Oh, we got some normal Minecraft sounds. I like that. And we gotta collect the XP. Okay, okay. I like these animations. Not too bad right now. This seems like it could actually be, like, a nice, like, clicker game if you're into that kind of stuff. Personally, I don't really play clicker games, but I can see why someone would play this. Oh, and we got levels here. These guys have more health. I'm guessing they would give us more XP. I think that's kind of how it works. Uh, yeah, I guess that's basically it. You kind of just click stuff and, um, wait, what's down here? Oh, you can actually click blocks too. It does make a nice sound. I like that. The sound is pretty accurate to the real Minecraft sound. And for upgrades and stuff, you can hire people. I think that's what this is. Mob plus two. I don't know what that means really. Let's go to weapons. Um, oh, we need five of those random gray piles of unknown object. I don't know what that is. Uh, I think we get a hand. Let's, let's do that. So mob plus one and block plus one. Plus one what? Oh, damage per click. Okay. Yeah, and there we go. Now we do twice the amount of damage that I did before. That That's really helpful. Let me just get one more piece of random gray pile and we can upgrade this thing once again. So now we're at three damage per click. Okay, okay. So there's some progression in this game. I like that. And there's multiple weapon upgrades and I'm guessing there's multiple higher upgrades as well. But I think we got the gist of this game. Let's move on to the tier list.
And now for Mind Clicker, our final game. I'm really not sure on this one. Like, it's not really similar to Minecraft, but it's got nice features. It's definitely better than the Agario ripoff. I like the gameplay of this one a lot more. It's a lot more calming, I guess. The Agario one's a bit confusing. This one, it kind of makes sense once you figure it out. Oh, dude, I'm really not sure. If I could put it in between C and D tier, I probably would. I think I'm gonna have to place this one inside of C tier just because it's a bit more playable, a bit more fun than the Agario one. Plus the animations, the artwork on this just looks a lot more clean and just, I don't know, a lot more like it's an actual game. And that's gonna do it all for today's video, guys. If you wanna see more ripoff Minecraft games or just more tier lists in general, leave them down in the comments below. Let me hear your guys' ideas. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel and you enjoy the type of content that I make, consider subscribing because I would really appreciate it and we are close to that 50k mark. So let's hope that you are a part of that. Well, that is going to be it for today, guys. I will see you guys next time. Have a wonderful rest of your day and peace out.